Something to do my natural year after about like four years. Me backstory. So first time that I actually attempted to do my natural hair by myself was pretty much in elementary school. I said like fourth to fifth grade. During this time, I kind of got frustrated with like the beads and the little childish hairstyles my mom would give me. So I decided, why don't I take it upon myself to be able to learn how to do my own hair? Big mistake. Number one, during that time period, I got a silk press for the first time, and I'm pretty sure like fourth grade, it damaged my hair badly. So I had to deal with breakage, hair damage, all that extra stuff for a very long while. Until up to the point where I got into sixth grade and I started to learn how to do natural hairstyles on myself. I wasn't really big on doing my own natural hair because I didn't know how to. I used to watch a bunch of hair inspiration YouTube videos. I used to go on Instagram. At the time, I used to go on Instagram and different things like that just to look at different types of um, hairstyles that I could do for my natural hair because I did not know what to do whatsoever. I damaged my hair multiple times because back when I didn't know how to do my hair, it was a lot easier for me to just have it straight or blow dry. So I used to just don't do what I do, but I used to do the worst to my hair, like putting oil on it before I flat iron it. I used to go super slow with the flat iron on the super high heat. Like I just used to be so dumb when it came to my hair. I didn't moisturize it properly. I didn't do anything. My hair was really, really short, pretty much to my neck level. And my hair has grown a lot over a few years because I took the time to learn about my hair, learn what to do with my hair and how to take care of it. So it's grown a pretty good amount. So this is the first time in about four years that I'm actually gonna attempt to style my natural hair. The last time I did it, again, was in sixth grade. I used to have two puffs in my hair every single day for the entire school year. Unless I got my hair done in like box braids. Yes, box braids were the thing back then, not knotless braids. But whenever I got my hair done occasionally, that would be the only time my hair would have a break from two puffs. I was like, let's go back a little bit. Let's attempt to do two puffs. I would blow dry my hair, but I kind of want to try this hairstyle completely natural no blow drying no heat no nothing just my natural curls um it's gonna be two low buns i was trying to count i would contemplate on whether or not i should do just a slick back bun or if i should just do two buns i think i'm gonna just do one slick back bun if i'm being honest with you because that's the hairstyle that i do the most like all the time and it's like you know that's the only hairstyle i really do with my natural hair because that's the only one that i know how to do i have this gel i usually use eco styler but my mom just had this in her bathroom so i was like okay let's just use it that's really my only option when it comes to gel i also have edge boosters i'm gonna be using it as well i also have a lot of curling products in my bathroom but i thought the best ones i would just use for now this one is super moisturizing it's the auntie jackie's the aunt jackie's curls and coils quench moisture intensive leave-in conditioner it's very hydrating like it's literally like the best product that i've used in my hair so far throughout my growth journey and the next thing i'm using is carol's daughter cocoa cream because curls carol's daughter i usually use this because their line is more like thicker based products like their stuff is a lot more thicker and it works really well on my hair like for my hair texture and everything so let's attempt to do it my hair is freshly washed and it's definitely going you know out of my comfort zone to be on camera with my natural hair out i always come on camera like with my hair below dry but freshly washed shrinkage Definitely out my comfort zone, but it's okay. We're doing whatever today. Yeah, I can't even really see my hair because of my black curtain, but I look like a little boy 
Like, all I really need is a tent fade, and I'll easily pass as a little boy. Like, it's embarrassing. But, yeah. It's what my natural hair is looking like right now, fresh out the shower. There's definitely, like... A lot of shrinkage, which I'm completely fine with. The more shrinkage, that means your hair is healthy. So y'all can see the color difference as well. Like y'all literally see how it's like like a bunch of brown and a bunch of black. A whole mess when it comes to dyeing my hair. Am I gonna dye my hair again in the future? Yes, but that's not the point. So I have a rat tail comb and a wide tooth comb, and I have two hair clips and my. Any hairbrush, I love this hairbrush so much. So I'm gonna be attempting to start that right now. Every time I do a slick back, I always do a middle part. I don't care what nobody says, a middle part is the way to go. So I'm gonna be doing that today. I always section my hair. Like I section it from um, like across the crown of my head, and then I section like the back, and you know layer my products as I'm going. You know, like just doing section by section. So I'm gonna be doing I just went like across my crown and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one of the hair ties that I'm gonna actually like do the ponytail with. I'm gonna use one of my hair ties to hold this front section because I'm gonna need those two clips for the way that I do my slip backs. I haven't done this in a long time. But this hair started cute, like a little natural half up, half down. Not on me, but it's cute. My hair just looks so crazy right now. We're gonna ignore it after we get it. But now that I have the back part sectioned off, I'm gonna section this back part in half. I'm gonna section in half for my first section. Now that I have this part section off, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use another hair tie and tie it up to the first section. So right now we have the back section of my hair is sectioned off from the rest, and I want to start off by putting my product on it. Like I like to put my products on it first and then the gel. One thing I'm really praying that doesn't happen, y'all know when y'all mix products with gel and it turns to this weird white clumpy stuff? I really hope that don't happen because this is literally my only option of gel. So I already have the section that I want. Um, you're gonna, you kinda wanna use like your, this is not a tutorial. We're just attempting to do what I already know how to do. I just haven't done it in a while. It's always been weaves, braids, all that extra stuff. So I'm gonna just, take this section and not comb it all the way through but get like a lot of the knots and stuff like that out because you're like it's going to be very helpful you can slick down your hair 10 times easier when there's no knots in it and when it's a lot smoother y'all hear that rubbery sound i love hearing that sound why because when you use a clarifying shampoo that that sound basically indicates that your hair is clean like i use a clarifying shampoo every time it takes all the oils out all the products everything I love it. So now that I have this section just a little bit combed down, I can kind of see like the ponytail. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use our jackets first. I'm gonna just use like a little bit. I don't want to use too much product because again, it's literally late at night. So I don't really need that much product. And I always like refresh my hairstyles in the morning. Like before I go somewhere, I spray it down with some water. Just you know, refresh it, all that extra stuff. So Used a little bit of that. Now I'm gonna use the curling cream because I mean. Anyway, so now we have the product in. I'm still making sure that I'm going with my wide tooth comb and like combing through just a little bit because the smoother it is, the easier it's gonna slip down. I'm telling you that right now. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this gel. So you don't want too you don't want too much gel on this section, just enough to be able to hold it down. So I'm gonna just take it around this whole section right here. And then I'm gonna just take my hairbrush and then brush it down. By the way, I wanna show you what it looks like, but the sections do not have to be perfect. You're not gonna see any section that's on your head except for your middle part, so. Now 
now that I have this section like kind of brushed off a little bit we're gonna move on to the next section so you're gonna untie that section and the thicker your hair is the more sections you're gonna need to make this was just the first part Once you get to a midway point where majority of your hair from that section is brushed down, you can go ahead and get some edge booster. It's not going to show. Like, if it, even if it turns wire or anything, it's not going to show because it's going to be underneath the rest of the sections of the hair. So I would take some edge booster or some edge control, run it on top of this part and brush it again before we move on to the last layer. So I'm back, and this is my edge control that y'all have seen before, my favorite edge control, edge booster. You'll need a lot of it. Like literally just take maybe about this much of it. Run across the top of your hair. And that really should be like, you Once you do that, you can take your brush and brush through your hair. See how my curls are like defining. That's what I want to see. But I would do that with the edge booster, put it on that section. And if you want to, just to make it look a little bit more neat, you can use edge control around like the edges, like your neck right here. Different stuff like that just to give it like a neater look. And now we're, I'm on, on to the last section. So now this last section is the one that you're actually going to see. It's going to be like over a majority of the back of your hair. So I would put like some edge control on the top of this section. Now I'm going to get my edge booster. And I'm going to put it all around like this top corner of my head for that section. Oh, y'all. Oh, <clears throat> I started to hurt. And remember when I told y'all that y'all should be combing through each of your sections? It definitely will help you make your stick backs a lot slower. I want you to know I'm brushing this section. Just tie it up. I'm not going to tie it too tight though because I have experience from too much tension, from tight ponytails, all that extra stuff. It's all really bad for you. You could lose hair, alopecia, all that extra stuff though. You don't even want to deal with that. Just tie it good enough but not too tight to the point where you could feel like, I don't know how to explain it, but if you tie your hair too tight, your scalp will feel unnecessarily cold. Like, a way to help you not tie it tight is just to, once you put in a ponytail, just hold your skin while pulling your hair tight. You know, we're gonna work on the front section. The front section, in my opinion, probably like the more difficult part of doing a slick back when you have thick hair, because it can really be a hit or miss. Some days it'll be slick, some days it just won't be, but. Now that the back is done, I'm really just going in, pulling any like hairs that are like too tight, or if I feel any type of tension and loosening it up. I remember I told y'all that we are doing I'm gonna split it down. I'm gonna split it down. Uh, make my middle part. So I'm really just making sure that it's like, cause my scalp moves, so it's really hard for me to make a normal middle part like so we're gonna take our clips this time so you're gonna want to section like when i say section the front if you want the front to be smooth and like lay down you need to section it i'm gonna do i'm gonna do like i'm gonna take this half and I'm gonna clip it up because you don't want too much tension with the hair tie because if you pull it if you pull it too tight with the hair tie it might go to the side and then once you untie it's gonna be like uneven all over the place so not small small sections just small enough so now I'm doing the same exact thing that I did for the back sections of my hair I'm taking the knot jackets going through and for this part, I will use a lot more edge control than I would with hair gel because, you know, this part actually needs to be laid down. And this 
time, I'm just going with my rat tail comb. You don't even need the wide tooth comb for this one. You need your rat tail comb. So you can go all the way down and very gently detangle your ends with the rat tail comb if you want to. To make it easier to pass everything through. But don't do it too rough. You want to work on your off. And I feel like you don't really need it like all over like the ends and stuff. Like I feel like you just need it to, to cover the gel on the part that's actually going to be outside of the ponytail if that makes sense. Taking my hairbrush and brushing it through for the most part. Now we're going to leave this alone and we're going to go on to our next section. That's why you almost fail. Like, it's what this part is looking like so far. I'm gonna get back to y'all. This is very stressful and I feel pressured on camera. So just hold on. So we're back. I finished styling my hair. I literally did the slick back and I attempted to do something different with my edges. Like I wanted to try to go like some type of fluffy edges. But overall I feel like it turned out really good. I haven't done the slick back in like a really long time. But in my personal opinion, it looks pretty good, you know, for someone who hasn't done it in a long while. Um, it's not as slick as I wanted it to be. I mean, I didn't tie my hair and nothing yet. This is like right after I finished it. I was getting really stressed out on camera and I was like, why don't I just finish it and then come back to it? But, I mean, I feel like I could have maybe like maybe like detangled it or like slipped it down a little bit better with my comb because I didn't want to I was just afraid of like break it I don't want break it because that gives you like multiple flyaways and different stuff like that I just don't like breakage and I already dealt with a lot that I had to cut off and restart all that extra stuff when I went through the process of actually gaining my hair health back so I don't really like breakage but I feel like maybe if I did take a little bit more time and go through with my retro comb maybe it would a little bit more slick it's probably a little more slick than this one like probably because I'm right-handed and I would probably just function better on the right side of my head but you know overall this hairstyle wasn't that bad I mean it was a struggle trying to actually do the hairstyle and get it together because I literally have not done this hairstyle in so long but I think it was good so that is the end of today's video. Make sure that you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and comment down below any suggestions that y'all have next. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Y'all probably enjoyed really struggling actually trying to do this hairstyle. But overall, it was still really fun to do. It was fun to attempt to do my your hair for once in a pretty long while. But I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. My piss coming back dirty, I'm just being honest